Today is the first day of 2022. That also means that Kate has graduated from her kindergarten. So it's a good time for me to show you how to download all the Little Lives photos. If you're a parent, you know what Little Lives is. Every day, they check in, check out, and they take photos. So those photos can be downloaded. I'm going to show you how. Let me show you the first step. That is to use a Google Sheet, which I have helped, I have edited to extract all the photos URL into the Google Sheets. So that's the first step. The second step, we actually to download all the URLs. But this extracting part might be the hardest of all. So first, you open this sheet. So I've made this public. You go to file, you make a copy because this Google Sheet has to be run under your Google account because it requires reading your Gmail to extract those links. So, so saying that you might be scared like, wow, would I be able to read your email me? The, uh, because I, I wrote the, this sheet. What you can do is actually you can open up the app scripts. So in the sheet, if you go to extension app script, you will open up the script that uh, contains all the codes that is run to extract the URL. So with, with that, right, you go to Gmail extract, you initialize first, you ask for permission, then you run once. And that should then populate this. So let's scroll down to the bottom of the sheet. So this was the last row. When I run once, it will start to no, you see, it's extracting the URL and then inserting into the rows. So this will take a while. Nothing we can do, we can only just wait. It should already be faster because I already extracted till August 2021. So just four months of photos to be added to the sheet. Okay, the script has stopped running. But to confirm that he has really extracted everything, it's better to go to your Gmail and you know, just search for those little footprints email. Make sure that there is this tag called little lives processed. So what happens is that when the email is being tagged with this little lives processed tag, that means that that email has been processed. The URL has been extracted into the sheet. So make sure that the latest email is being tagged. Because this script can run, I think uh, it will extract for a few hundred emails because running these scripts takes time and there's a time limit. If it never finished, you can click on Gmail extract, run once again. You can do this multiple times and it only starts from those emails that are not being tagged. So that's how the Google Sheet works. So once we have that, we can move on to step two. Step two is to download all the photos. And there are two ways. One, you can use apps that can download multiple photos in, in, in batch. I'm not too sure what apps there are because I don't do that. I don't use that. But I know command line tools that can do that. So this is a bit more advanced. I'm using this thing called code. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, if but if you are okay, you can try to do this on your terminal. So the command looks something like this. I'm going to show you this advanced way. And remember just now you have all the photo links here, right? So on the second column, I have this curl thing. It's the same as the link, but that uh, I created the command for you so that you can just easily copy and paste all these curl commands. So copy all these command C on my Mac, and then I'll come to here and I'll paste. It's a lot of them and it will start to download all the photos. This will also take a while, but what happens is that I can start to see photos being added. Okay, now we have all the photos in this folder and we can move on to the last step. Step three is to convert all the photos to one video. So this is optional. So I'm going to make a video like a montage, but very fast because there are nearly 2,000 photos. Once I've done that, I'll share it in YouTube also. For these steps, again, there are a few ways. The One way is, of course, to use apps. There are apps that can convert a batch of photos into a movie montage, but I don't have any free one that I can recommend or I know. So I'm going to just use another advanced level tools 
So this is called FFmpeg. How to install that, I'm not going to teach you how. You can Google it, you'll find out easily. And then you can run this FFmpeg on your terminal. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, okay, I shall just copy this. And again, I'll go back to this folder. Okay, this was the folder. Just one thing to highlight, there's this parameter dash R3. 3 is for actually one third of a second. So each photo will be one third of a second. So that's pretty fast. So you can adjust this if you want. You can set it to one. There will be one second. And basically, it's going to get everything in the folder that is a JPG. That is a JPEG file, and then and then we'll output as a movie. So I'm going to run it now. Oh, done. Actually, that's really fast. Okay, let's now open up the file. So I'm playing on VLC. You can see that this is ten minutes long. So that's the end of this how to create a time-lapse video of all those little lives photos. So Kate is going to primary school next week and her little sister Jade is going to her PG. So starting another cycle where we need to bring her to the childcare every day. It's a different school but I, I was told that the school also used little lives app. So I believe this app is now so popular and everybody is using it. It's not easy every day sending your child and bring them back. We have a number of people, grandpa, grandma, and of course, three parents. Looking at it, all this, this video, in fact, can be a bit emotional. It's four years of photos. So it's not easy being parents. Cheers to all the parents out there.